We're going to do the chi-square independence test on our TI-84 calculator. We're going to use data from StatTrek.com and the data that StatTrek gives us is voting preferences based on gender. And so we're going to enter these voting preferences into a matrix before we have the calculator compute the chi-squared value and the p-value. And to get a matrix we will do second matrix and to edit a matrix we actually have to scroll twice to the right to edit and we will hit A for option A and we actually have all of our data already entered but if we didn't we would want to enter the number of rows that we have and we are not going to enter the column totals and the row totals into our matrix we're going to only enter the relevant data so that means we're going to enter the number of males whose voting preference is Republican, the number of males whose voting preference is Democrat and Independent, and the number of females whose voting preferences are such. So that means we're going to have two rows, one for each gender and three columns, one for each political affiliation, and that gives us a two by three matrix, R by C, row by column. And so we would enter two and then three and then we would enter each of our data values so we would do 200 and then press enter and we would do 150 and then press enter and we would keep going until we filled out our entire matrix our matrix is already filled out once the matrix is filled out we'll go to the test so stat and scroll twice to the right until you get to tests and our chi-squared test is option C and so we can press the alpha value and then the C that's right above the program. By default, the observed values are in matrix A and that's where we just stored all of our observed values that we've collected in the data. The expected values will be stored in B. Our calculator is going to calculate those values and put them in B and then we just have to press calculate and our calculator will give us B and it will give us the chi-squared value and the p-value. Our chi-squared value is 16.2 and our p-value is 3.0 if we round 3 times 10 to the negative fourth. So that's a very very small p-value so in that case we would reject the null hypothesis and say that the two variables are in fact associated with each other so gender does influence the voting preferences.